Town Hall 13, free to play, 90 days later. What's going on, my friends? My name is Joe, and welcome back to the show. Today would be episode six of the Town Hall 13 free to play series. Oh my goodness, yes, we are still free to play after 90 days of leveling up to Town Hall 13. You don't believe it? I'll link the prior episodes down in the description below for you. In today's video, we're gonna get you caught up on what's been upgraded in the last 30 days, plus doing some upgrades inside the laboratory. And then we gotta talk about how much time is left until we're max and the changes on how we're gonna finish our heroes on this account so in the last 30 days we did have a minor update in clash of clans now the changes at town hall 13 were very minute with some reductions of cost and time on the walls the giga inferno tower and the lower level royal champion but we also got an additional level to the gold mine the elixir pump and the dark elixir drill so if you don't play every single day you might want to consider upgrading those to increase your passive income now most of you guys know that we were really focused on the upgrading of heroes over the last 90 days and some of that work has finally paid off with the archer queen and the grand warden being fully maxed out for town hall 13 at level 75 and level 50 thanks to two free hero books in the holiday trader event and the season pass now the barbarian king and the royal champion saw a three level increase to level 72 and level 17 but we're gonna have to adjust how we move forward on up Upgrading those and I'll explain that at the end of the video we upgraded the town hall to level 5 giga inferno tower and we also upgraded both of the scatter shots to level 2 and the eagle artillery to level 4 with the assistance of a book of building and then we also talked about unlocking the dragon rider in our last episode and we finally upgraded two of our barracks to level 15 to unlock those but what about walls 214 walls are now upgraded to level 14. So jumping into the laboratory in the last 30 days we did upgrade our balloon to level 9 and we were also able to upgrade our dragon rider to level 2 so those are two more items that we can use in future armies i.e the skybrid which is the dragons and the balloons and the dragon riders and the clone spells we'll talk about that army in a different video so we do have a few hammers that we need to spend today and i think we're going to go ahead and upgrade our yeti to level three with the use of a hammer of fighting and we're also going to upgrade our jump spell to level four with a hammer of spells So jumping over to the Clash Ninja website, this is where things get very interesting with how we've been upgrading our village thus far. Now I will link this website down in the description below if you would like to try it for yourself. But when you look at this completion status, you're gonna notice that we're at about 64% complete on our structures while we have 81%. 87% and 85.6% on our laboratory heroes and walls. So our heavy emphasis on offense and upgrading troops and walls has really kind of paid off, but you're gonna notice that we're a little imbalanced here. And when we go down into the stats, this is where we're gonna have to adjust how we upgrade moving forward. Remember that Barbarian King at level 72? Well, we're gonna go ahead and keep upgrading him after the Clan War Leagues to level 75. The Royal Champion, on the other hand, we're gonna upgrade to about level 20-ish, and we're gonna have to slow way down because you have to remember that each individual month, you get one free Book of Heroes at the end of the season pass. So we have to be able to spend that free book of heroes and the best place to do that is on our royal champion because when we look at these statistics you'll notice that with six builders we have nine months two days and 19 hours remaining and then the laboratory because we've been using hammers of fighting and spells we have nine months nine days and 23 hours so here's how we're going to move forward into the next month with the clan war leagues right around the corner we're going to knock out our three or four wars to claim our eight stars to get the full amount of rewards. And then we're gonna put our Barbarian King 
and our royal champion back down for upgrade i want to try to get that king to level 75 as quickly as possible and then we also have a barracks that's finishing up in the next 11 hours so we're going to upgrade another one to level 15. we want to get those barracks finished up that way we can train our dragon riders more efficiently and you're also going to notice that we've started working our way into the inferno towers as well as the scattershot finishing up in three days the remaining builders are going to be over on the gold mines and the elixir pumps to try to help out a little bit with the passive income because the farming is straight up grueling most of you guys probably already know that let me know down in the comments below what kind of progress you're making on your village and if you enjoyed today's content make sure to leave a like on the video consider subscribing and we will see you in the next video